and friends, it's Brianna with Breeze Books. You know we are on watching Breeze Books when the lighting is terrible, as always. But it's okay, we're all friends here. It's just very chill, you know, hang out, kind of watch me show books channel. So, um, I know I just did an unboxing haul for you, but I went to the thrift store a couple days ago, and I found a decent amount of stuff, so I figured I might as well do another haul. <laughs> because I like to show off my goodies that I find for super cheap. So yeah, let's just get right into it and see what I found at the thrift store. I have some manga and a few children's books and a couple other things that I found that I want to show you guys because I'm excited about it. So the first things I have to show you is the Skip Beat Manga Volumes 2 through 5. I already have the first volume and I'm actually still currently reading this series. Um, I'm up to like volume 36 or something like that. It's still currently actually um, publishing, it's still coming out volume to volume. Um, so I've just started slowly collecting them as I see them. So now I have the first five volumes and I don't know, it's just a fun, uh, unique series I feel like about a girl who um, gets betrayed by the boy she loves and so she vows revenge by beating him in show business. So, if that sounds interesting to you, I would give it a try. It's also um, an anime, although the anime is not completed. It only goes through, like, the first, I want to say, like, few volumes of manga. It doesn't go very far into the series. Like, I'm, like, way farther now than when the anime ended. So, um, yeah, there's that one. And then I also came across... Um, a series I've heard of, but I've like no exposure to. I've never seen it or read it or anything. They had the um, the Goodwill or the one of the thrift stores by my house had the first eleven volumes of DNA Angel, DN Angel. I guess not DNA Angel, DN Angel. Um, I don't know what this is about, but it's flagged as fantasy romance. He has, the main character has some kind of power, um, genetic condition. He tra transforms into the legendary phantom thief, Dark. It's some sort of curse or something. So I don't know, this is the first volume. It sounds pretty interesting, but as I said, I have like no idea because I have never heard anything about, like I've heard of the name, but I haven't heard anything about it. But yeah, they had the first 11 volumes there, so I picked them all up because Manga is very hard to find a uh, discount at, uh, on sale. So I only find my manga pretty much, if I buy manga, it's pretty much either through library sales or thrift stores. And that's pretty few and far between that you can find on like a full set of books from one series. So that's very exciting. I got those and that's it for the manga. I got a few children's books. They're super good condition that I decided to pick up. I got Put Me in the Zoo by Robert Lopshire. This is like those old classic like Dr. Seuss beginner books uh, like collection. I didn't have this one yet and this is like in brand new condition so I figured why not. I do love my a good children's, children's book every now and again and then of course some classic nostalgia of little critter books that I didn't have yet. I have a bunch of these but I didn't have these ones. I have all by myself. Just my friend and me. Just going to the dentist and just me and my mom and these are all by Mercer Mayer and I love these, these are really fun and cute and so I got those and then my last two books are actually novels I know, shocker, I read them sometimes um, I got The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson and this is why I believe and it's flagged as fiction, fantasy, general but I'm pretty sure it's mostly fantasy um, I think kind of high fantasy. I haven't read it yet, but it's a trilogy, unless there's more books still coming out. There's at least three books out already, and I'm not sure if they concluded it or not, but I've been wanting to read this for a long time. I might give the audiobook a go because my library has the audiobook of this, and I feel like it might be easier to get through if it is like higher fantasy stuff. Um, but I think it's about um, a queen got like kicked out of her kingdom and now she's gonna like go and try to take it back so that sounds awesome this cover's really nice and um the original hardback cover is really nice also um but yeah this is one i've been wanting to read and i finally found the first book and i have 
so I have that. Another one I was really excited to find that I've been wanting to read for a while is an Alice in Wonderland retelling called Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. Um, I love these covers. It looks like a giant playing card deck, and so do the next two books in the series. There might be more, but I'm not sure it's, if that's finished at all um, either. But I found this one, and it is beautiful. has words under Princess Warrior Queen on the... Um, plain under the dust jacket book and so that pretty much completes my book haul for the from the thrift store this time around hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys you know let me know if you've read any of these or enjoy these little critter books or if you've read skip beat or seen skip beat or what you thought of either of my queen novels because i just realized these both are about queens so apparently it was Good luck for royalty at the thrift stores. But yeah, that's all for Breeze Books. I'll see you soon with hopefully not a haul in the next video. And um, thanks for watching. Bye!